this module we will study about introduction to the physical world physics scope and excitement of physics physics technology and society fundamental forces in nature nature of physical laws recapitulation we all are living in the age of science observe all these gifts given by science what is science what makes the planets revolve around the sun let us find out the answers to all these questions in detail in this chapter before studying about the term physics we must familiarize with the term science because physics is a basic discipline in the category of natural science which also includes other disciplines like biology and chemistry the word science originates from the latin word scientia meaning to know science is based on exploration experimentation and prediction of natural phenomenon This indicates the use of observation and result of experiment that help in prediction and modification of natural phenomena. Some of the phenomena in science are occurrence of day and night, occurrence of seasons, formation of eclipses, formation of rainbow, formation of tides, etc. The word physics comes from the Greek word physis meaning nature the sanskrit word bhautiki is used to refer to the study of the physical world it is a branch of science which devoted to the study of nature and natural phenomena in the study of physics the two principal thrusts are unification and reductionism let us study about them one by one unification refers to the attempts made to explain diverse physical phenomena in terms of few concepts and laws for example some law of gravitation miles etc enables us to transmit messages and information in very short interval of time the development of television radio satellites etc increases the means of communication advancement in electronics computers and lasers have greatly enriched our society invention of steam engine in 18th century played a key role in the industrial revolution in england it was developed let us now take a look at some physicists with their major discovery and country of origin. You may have a quick look on these scientists and you can also pause it. These are some of the very greatest scientists that have won yet in the world they have created very new discoveries i am i am going uh, so you can pause it and click the picture from this table we appreciate the multicultural international character of the scientific endeavor technology and physics are closely related all technologies are based on the principles of physics some of the technologies and principles of their are given here fundamental forces in nature all these activities need force
Sir Isaac Newton gave the correct notion of force in his statement of the laws of motion. In macroscopic world, besides the gravitational force, we come across several other kinds of forces, such as muscular force, frictional force, surface tension, viscous force, etc. In microscopic world, several kinds of forces are electric and magnetic forces, nuclear forces involving protons and neutrons, interatomic and intermolecular forces. Let us know about the four fundamental forces of nature with the help of an animation. Forces in nature The Earth and other planets revolve around the Sun. Can you think what holds the Earth when it revolves around the Sun? The electron has negative charge, whereas nucleus has positive charge. Then electron should have been attracted by the nucleus. But we can see that it revolves around the nucleus instead of getting attracted towards the nucleus. Can you think what makes the electron to revolve around the nucleus? Nucleus is composed of chargeless neutrons and positive charged protons. Even there is a force of repulsion between the protons due to the same charge on them. But still, nucleus do not break. Can you think why? Can you think how? The neutrons get converted into protons, electrons and antineutrino. In each case, there exists a force. Can you tell which type of force acts? Gravitational force, electromagnetic force, strong nuclear force, weak nuclear force. All these are fundamental forces of nature. Let us study the nature of each of the force one by one. Gravitational force is one of the four fundamental interactions of nature. It is due to the gravitational force which keeps the Earth and other planets in their orbits around the Sun. It is due to the same force which keeps the Moon orbiting around the Earth. There is a popular story that Newton was sitting under an apple tree. An apple fell on his head. The apple fell down due to the gravitational force between the earth and the apple. From this, the idea of formulating the law of gravitation came into the mind of Sir Isaac Newton. Gravitational force is a weak force and applicable to long range. Electromagnetic force exists between charged particles. An atom consists of nucleus and an electron revolves around it. An attractive force should exist between the electron and proton. But inside the nucleus, repulsive force exists between protons, which in turn prevent the electron to get attracted. Because of this electromagnetic force, the atomic structure is stable. The electromagnetic force holds these electrons in their orbit around the nucleus. Let us understand more clearly by taking an example from daily life.
Let us consider a heavy block hanging from the ceiling by a string. We can see that string is composed of electrons and protons. And similarly, block is also composed of protons and electrons. Do you know the reason why block attached to the string does not fall down? The electrons and protons at the lower end of the string exert force on the electrons and protons of the block. Thus, a resultant force is exerted by the string on the block. The block does not fall because of the electromagnetic force attracting between the block and the string. Let us study about strong nuclear force. Here we can see protons and neutrons inside the nucleus. There exists a force of attraction between proton and neutron. Even though neutrons do not have any charge, but then also they are attracted by the protons inside the nucleus. Do you know how? This is due to strong nuclear force which exists between them. This force is charge independent. This force is short range force. This force is 10 times stronger than repulsive electric force. That is why it is able to hold the nucleus despite of the repulsion between the protons. Strong nuclear force comes into play in nuclear fusion and nuclear fission reactions. Hydrogen bomb is an example of strong nuclear force. It is based on the process of nuclear fission. There is another force called the weak nuclear force. Such forces exist inside the nucleus between elementary particles. Weak nuclear force can be seen in the process of beta decay. In beta decay, a neutron gets converted into a proton. During this, an electron and an antineutrino are emitted. If such force would not have existed, then much radioactive matter would have been stable. Let us go through the table showing us the details of progress in unification of different forces or domains in nature. Nature of physical laws Some special quantities remain constant in time. They are the conserved quantities of nature. Let us understand the conservation principles which are very important to explain the observed phenomena more quantitatively. The important conservation laws of classical physics are mentioned on the screen. Laws of conservation of energy, laws of conservation of linear momentum, laws of conservation of angular momentum, laws of conservation of charge. According to law of conservation of energy, Energy can be transformed from one form to the other or transported from one place to the other but the total amount of energy never changes. This law is applied in the analysis of atomic, nuclear and elementary particle processes and is valid for all forces and for any kind of transformation. With the help of an example, as we drop a ball from a certain height, then, though its kinetic energy increases with decreasing height, but the sum of kinetic and potential energies of the body remains constant at all time. In an electric fan, electricity is converted into mechanical energy. In a windmill, the mechanical energy of the wind is converted into electricity.
according to the law of conservation of angular momentum if the total external torque acting on a system is zero then the angular momentum of the system remains constant this law of conservation of angular momentum can be observed in the orbital motion of the planets around the sun according to the law of conservation of linear momentum in the absence of an external force the linear momentum of a system remains conserved or unchanged only an external force can change the linear momentum of the system the internal forces come in balanced pairs that cancel within the object some examples of conservation of linear momentum are process of nuclear fission and explosion of a star connection of conservation law all the conservation laws have a deep connection with symmetries of nature these laws of nature do not change with time the laws of nature are same everywhere in the universe however the phenomena may differ from place to place because of different conditions at different locations the symmetry of the laws of nature with respect to translation in space give rise to law of conservation of linear momentum similarly isotropy of space underlines the law of conservation of angular momentum the conservation of charge and other attributes of elementary particles can also be related to certain abstract symmetries therefore symmetries of space and time and other abstract symmetries play a key role in modern theories of fundamental forces in nature according to einstein's theory mass m is equivalent to energy e given by the relation e is equal to mc square where c according to the einstein relation energy can be obtained at the cost of mass and vice versa consequently the law of conservation of mass was included in the law of conservation of energy There are two types of chemical reactions. One, exothermic reaction. Two, endothermic reaction. In exothermic reaction, the total binding of the reacting molecules is less than the total binding energy of the product molecules. In endothermic reaction, the total binding of the reacting molecules is more than the total binding energy of the product molecules. By now we have covered all the important concepts related to the chapter of physical world. Let us take a recap of these concepts in brief. We had learnt about macroscopic and microscopic domains. We had also studied the interrelationships between physics and other branches of science and technologies. We also learnt about the four fundamental forces of nature and their important properties. Important conservation laws. Let us take a look at some of the important terminologies that we studied in this topic. Let us go through a small insight related to the topic. As we come to the end of this video, please subscribe, like and comment.
if you want new videos or top any on any topic so please comment and tell us thank you